Dear Palms community, my name is Henrik Franke, and I have the chance to present our paper, Rising to the Top, Motivational Forces Influencing Status Conflict in Sourcing Teams in this short video. The study is on motivation, and we already know that motivation divides up into intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. And the behavioral operations management literature has focused somewhat more on extrinsic motivation. We want to bring both together in the context of sourcing teams, that is teams that make decisions on where to buy from, they select a supplier. We pick up the notion of goal misalignment in those teams because different functional areas may have different goals. And we add the idea of psychological needs to represent the intrinsic motivation of those representatives. Psychological needs can be for achievement, that's achieving in life and at work, for affiliation, that's having good relations among each other, and for dominance, that is being in charge, taking control of things. We interpret all of these variables in terms of heterogeneity. Goal misalignment already has the idea in itself, differentness of functional goals, and we also examine these functional needs in terms of their heterogeneity, in terms of their differentness within a sourcing team, and what's the effect on conflict and performance. This research environment is, is relevant because cross-functional integration is really important to execute source. We need different people to join together, yet the downside is that these different functional representatives may face goal misalignment. That is a variable that we adopt from the literature. This goal misalignment leads to problems. For example, conflict. And there's numerous types of conflicts that we already know, yet status conflict is relatively new. Status conflict happens when the team disagrees on who is in charge. And this is re very relevant for sourcing because being in charge in this team is often useful when goals are misaligned. Together with the idea of differentness of psychological needs, we find that this situation right here, where one team member is really dominant and the others are not, so heterogeneity in terms of that motivational factor, reduces status conflict. It seems that this person automatically determines the hierarchy within the team, reducing status conflict, which improves performance. So our managerial implication would be, especially when a sourcing decision is under high pressure, it makes sense to send in a dominant person to structure the team hierarchy and to achieve performance. This, however, does not work with high achievers. The need for achievement did not show a similar effect. So with this, I'd like to uh, say, say thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is the team. Uh, Stephanie Eckert and Kai Förstl and I um, are grateful for your time. Hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.